Aki wakes up in a hospital bed and sees Denji and Power sitting next to him and reading manga. Power sees that Denji eats an apple and demands eating it, but Denji refuses to give it to her, stating that she ran away and doesn't deserve her it. Power lies, saying that she was hungry, and that's why she left, but Denji doesn't believe her and they continue arguing. Aki asks them who else survived from the Division 4, and Denji reveals that Kobani survived and the guy with glasses, but he quit. Denji explains that Makima called for him and Power, and they will be splitting up with Aki. Before leaving, Denji takes the basket with apples, but decides to leave one for Aki. After that, Aki takes his sword and asks Curse Devil how many years he has left, and Curse Devil tells him that he has two years left. Aki takes his cigarette, and as he uses the lighter, he remembers Himeno and starts crying. Denji had forgotten his manga and returns to get it, but finds Aki crying. He understands why as he lost many friends including Himeno. Remembering Himeno, Denji wonders why he doesn't cry for her. He was sad when Pakita died. Himeno was the first to offer being friends with him, but he doesn't feel sad for her. Denji wonders if he will cry if Power died, but guesses no neither for her or for Aki. He then thinks of Mikima, but guesses if she dies, he will feel down for a few days, but then continue with his happy life. Denji then wonders if he had lost his human heart, but moments later decides to not think about serious stuff. After Denji and Power leave, Michiko and Yutaro visit Aki and introduce themselves as advisors who came per Makima's request. Denji and Power meet up with Makima at the cemetery. She tells them that the hotel incident and the recent attack prove that they are after Denji. Denji wonders if Makima will train them, however. Makima explains that she is quite busy and will be introducing them to someone perfect for the job. She takes them to Himeno's master, Kishi, but before revealing his name, he wants to ask them a few questions first. Kishi then asks Denji and Power how they felt when their teammates died and if they want revenge. Denji and Power state they didn't think much of it and are not interested in revenge. Kishi asks them if they are on human or devil side. Denji states he is on the side that takes care of him, while Power states she is on the side of whoever is winning. Kishi states they scored perfectly and that there are not many like their type. He tells Makima to leave as their training is starting. Kishu states he is Devil Hunter from Division 1 and they can call him Master. He likes booze, women, and killing devils. He hugs them and snaps their necks, leaving them unable to move. He explains that they have same bodies as humans, but they can recover by drinking blood. After he gives them blood and they recovered, Denji wonders why he did that. Kishu explains that Makima asked him to train. For some reason, the gun devil want Denji's heart and Makima is worried that Denji is quite weak. He has been training humans, but now must train devils. His drunk self then came with an idea. Since he is the strongest devil hunter, the devil that defeats him must be the strongest too. He will keep hunting Denji and Power until they defeat him. Denji and Power believe he is crazy, but as Kishib comes at them, Power creates a blood hammer and gives it to Denji. However, in just a moment, Kishib stabs Denji several times and cuts Power's throat. He notes that Denji is immortal, while Power is semi-immortal, and all they think about is bashing someone's head. He always wanted a toy he can't break and intends to turn them into the best. At the hospital, Aki tries to call the fox devil, but it won't show up. Yutaro states it's because he abused the devil's power and Gaman's bad side. Yutaro also states that he can use the cursed devil a few more times too. Aki then realizes why they are there and the two explain that they do career coaching and wonder if Eki is considering quitting after the incident. It's fine if he wishes to continue, but needs to be more prepared and make a contract with the stronger devil. Aki states that the one who killed his family and the one who killed his friends is still alive, so he can't quit. The two then leave, stating that they will be back tomorrow with some paperwork. A woman then enters, surprising Aki. At dark, Kishi tells a beat-up Denji in power that he is leaving and will meet them tomorrow at their place. Denji falls to the ground and starts making noises while drooling himself. Power realizes his brain broke again and starts hitting him in the head telling him to come back. Denji comes to his sense and asks Power how many times has he been killed today. Power guesses at least 20 times, but she also went unconscious after him, so she isn't entirely sure. While going home, Denji doesn't feel happy if he has to live like that. Power suggests they run, but Denji states the public safety will hunt them if they do. Denji is annoyed at how strong Kishub is. Power then states she got an idea. She states his brain is rotten due to the alcohol, and they should use their brains to fight him. Denji likes the idea, wanting to be like the smart characters in a manga. The two then decide to kill him with their intellect, feeling smarter already. The next day, Power and Denji wear glasses to look smarter and wait for Kishib. As he comes right before opening the door, Power and Denji start their super smart operation and Power throws a blood spear through the door, but Kishib evades. Having prepared bottles of blood of Kishib, 
Power turns them to spears coming for Kishi from above, but he again evades. Kishi breaks all the spears and Denji comes from the above floor, attempting to hit him with an axe, however, in an instant Kishu turns and kicks Denji, knocking his glasses and Denji. Kishu notes this was their best attempt, and they should use more their brain. They fail for two reasons. Power used too much blood and made herself anemic. And two, Denji failed to predict Kishub's attack. Kishub then congratulates them for the try and adds that they are done for today. Denji tells Power about it, and she feels lucky. As Denji attempts to stand, Kishib throws a knife at his head, stating that Prey shouldn't trust the hunter. Michiko and Yutaro take Aki to a special facility, explaining that making a contract with a strong devil will mean the contract should be brutal too. They walk through some cells and Yutaro explains that this is where public safety locks up devils they capture. Yutaro then recalls seeing the girl that entered Aki's room after them and wonders if he is his girlfriend. Aki explains it's his teammate's sister. Yutaro wonders if she hit Aki. Aki denies it and explains she gave him letters, which her sister had sent him and she believes Aki should read them too. Reading them, Aki sees that Himeno wonder on how to make Aki quit. They take him to cell 108. Noting that they want Aki to make contract with the devil inside the future devil, he reveals that two people have contract with him. One gave half of their lifespan, while the other gave it their eyes, senses of taste, and smell. Aki then enters the cell and faces the future devil. Ake enters the cell of the future devil, who keeps repeating the future rules and wants Aki to say it too. However, Aki ignores him and explains that he is there to form a contract with him and asks him what he wants in return. Future Devil notes that Aki has a bad attitude. He wants to see Aki's future, and then will decide if he wants to form a contract. He tells Aki to stick his head into his gut. Aki is surprised, but still sticks his head. After a few moments, the Future Devil laughs and states he wants to live in his right eye, and that way he will grant him his power. Future Devil states that Aki's face is asking if that's all and explains it's because Aki's death and the future rules. He starts telling him how he will die, but Aki stops him not wanting to listen and tells him to enter his eye. Kishib beats Denji in power once again. He congratulates them on their try and notes they no longer need to do this each day, but once a week. He tells them to keep their heads cool and not forget what weapons they have. Kishib then explains that they will be doing live combat training as they will be attacking Snake Devil Woman and Ketna Man. Everyone from the new Division 4 will be involved, but if they fail, the division will be dissolved and Denji and power will be disposed for real by Kishib. Denji states that if it comes to that, he will show mercy and spare Kishu's life as he made him stronger. Later, Kishu meets with Makima, who hopes that he will continue to train Denji and Power. Kishu states he is tired of them already and that each time the dogs he train end up dying, he ends up drinking more. He guessed that won't happen to toys, but guesses due to his age even starts to get attached. Kishu is sure that the public safety wasn't clueless for the attack on the divisions and asks Makima if she knew about it. He states he don't care about her plans or how many of his dogs die as long as she is serving mankind's interests. Makima states she wants to save as many people as possible from the devils and if the operation is a success, Division 4's existence will become part of the public record. That way they will have more freedom and be able to save more people. Kishab then calls her a liar. Katana Man and Akane Sawateri are in their hideout with other men. Akane mentions that even if they run, there is no place that is safe from Makima. She tells the other men that even if Katana Man dies, he can be brought back to life, but the rest of the men need to be careful to not get bitten. They wonder what she means and Katana Man explains that they have a secret weapon left by his grandfather and that below them, there is an army of zombies made by people who couldn't pay their debt. Yutaro heard that Aki is after the gun devil and asks him if he really believes he can take him down considering he just lost to another person. Yutaro reveals that he too joined public safety due to beef with the gun devil, but he isn't trying to kill him as it's impossible. Looking at Aki pisses Yutaro as he finds him really weak, but Aki acts like he is someone big. Aki doesn't care what they say and tells them to sit back and watch, and if he ends up dead, they can laugh at him. After dropping Aki at the public safety, Yutaro gives him a drink and states that even if he is pissing him off, he is still rooting for him. He gives him an advice saying what he heard that everyone in the special division is crazy, so he must watch for himself. Makima beats with the current Yakuza boss that Katana Man belongs to. He explains that he heard they got into a fight with some of the younger members in his group, but assures her it wasn't on his orders. He shows a picture to Kane and explains he heard she was behind it and got them into deals with the gun devil. Makima wonders what kind of deal and the man explains that they have 20,000 yen to the gun devil and in exchange they receive guns and ammo. Makima then asks him to write the names of everyone in his organization that has a contract with the gun devil. The man agrees, thinking that she will just throw them in jail for some time. Mikima also wants the names from other families, not just his organization. 
The man states that is stupid, as if the other families find out, it will mean war between the families. The man asks Makima if she had hear of the term necessary evil, and explains that if they end up wiping themselves out, it will open Japan to foreign mafia, and the Chinese and Russian mafia is even more bad than them, and they are currently keeping those foreigners away. Makima then brings out a paper bag, and the man jokes that a bribe won't change his mind. Makima explains it's not money, but things belonging to the families of all the men in the room, and it's the eyes of their lovers, wives, grandparents, siblings, and other relatives. The man checks the bag and is shocked to see it full of eyes. Makima explains that they have someone who can return the eyes without problem, and if he cooperates, she will introduce him to that person. One of the men grabs Makima by the shoulder, wanting to punch her. But as she stares at him, he stops and his nose starts bleeding and then falls on his knees. Makima states that he uses necessary evil as an excuse for his actions, but society doesn't need his excuses. The special division and the police surround the hideout of Katana Man. Aki wonders what is the plan, but Kishig states there is no plan and they just enter. Aki, Denji, Power, and Kobini then enters. Shina and Furuno introduce themselves to Kishu, but he tells that the police in Division 2 just need to keep the entrances to the first floor and basement sealed off, while the Special Division will take out the terrorists. He also explains that the Special Division is made almost entirely of non-humans, and if one of them escapes, it can cause more casualties than the terrorists. Kishu then explains the members, so that they know who they may need to engage. Bean Shark Fiend enters the first floor, thought the wall, and seeing the zombies, he gets excited of how much he can eat. Kishud explains that he can swim inside any surface and can transform his head into his devil form for a few moments. Beam is eating zombies and tries to bite a hooded man, but gets kicked. He then apologizes to Galgalig, a violence fiend, explaining he mistaken him for a zombie. Kishud explains that devils become weaker when they become fiends. But even as a fiend, the violence fiend is quite strong. He wears a gas mask that dispenses poison gas, and it must stay on no matter what. As Galgali beats up some zombies, he sees a woman and tells her to leave as if she gets bitten, she will turn into a zombie. As she turns towards him, he realizes she is a devil too. Princey, the spider devil. Kishig states that most of the time she assumes a human form and that humanoid devils tend to be friendly. Princey turns into her devil form and starts killing zombies. A zombie head then rolls and hits the leg of Angel Devil who gets annoyed that it dirtied his shoe, but then picks the head and starts eating it. Kishiv explains he is a special case and has no enmity towards humans, but they need to stay away from him as physical contact gets their lifespan drained away. Angel asks Aki if he has a handkerchief if he can borrow. Aki then gets close and gives him a handkerchief, which surprises Angel that he came that close. A man then shows up and tries to shoot Aki, but Angel Devil uses his wing to protect him. Aki then runs and knocks out the man and tells Angel to take the man outside. Angel is annoyed that he got ordered, but prefers it than having to fight. Aki then tells Denji, Power, and Kobani to leave the zombies to the fiends, as they will be going after Katana Man and Akan. But as they don't know where they are, they will be splitting up. Aki goes to the fourth floor where a man comes out from one of the rooms and tries to shoot him. Aki dodges and then knocks out the man. Four more men then come out, and Aki prepares to fight them, but one by one, the men start bleeding from their nose and collapse. Aki continues to search and eventually finds Akane. He tells her to quietly come with him. However, Akane summons the snake devil, telling it to spit it out. The ghost devil then appears in front of Aki, and Akane orders it to kill Aki. The ghost devil attacks, and Aki starts cutting his arms one by one using the future devil's power, as it lets him peek a bit into the future. He still gets overwhelmed by the hand and coast devil manages to grab him by the neck. A cane, then orders the devil to choke him to death. While the ghost devil struggles Eki, he recalls a time with while dinning with Himeno. She tries making him smoke and Aki finally accepts his cigarette, but notes she is terrible for making a minor smoke. Learning he is a minor, Himeno understands why he can't smoke and takes back her cigarette. She tells him that she will keep it and give it to him when he is grown up and needs something to take the edge off. Ghost Devil releases Aki. It extends one of its hands and gives him a cigarette. Aki takes the cigarette and sees Easy Revenger written on it. Aki then puts the cigarette in his pocket. He stands up and takes his sword and walks towards the devil. He recalls that Himeno told him that since Ghost Devil doesn't have eyes and it can see only fear, he gets on the devil and prepares to cut its head. He tells Himeno that he will soon join her and then cuts off the Ghost Devil's head. Akane is surprised. She starts calling the snake devil, but stops as Kobani puts her knife on her throat. However, Aki tells Kobani to not kill Akane. Aki then asks Kobani why she remained in public safety and Kobani explains that they will soon be getting bonus payments. In the elevator, Denji sees Power eating a zombie's arm and finds it gross. 
Power states that meat is meat, and that pork, beef, and human are all the same. As Denji disagrees, the two are eager to start a fight. Denji states their job is to capture the Katana Man, and it would be good if Power doesn't eat him. The elevator then opens the doors at the seventh floor, and they see a group of zombies in front of them. Denji tells Power that the zombies haven't noticed them and they shouldn't make loud noises. Power grins and yells her name, challenging the zombies to a fight. She tells Denji to follow her and cover her back, however, Denji decides to remain in the elevator as the door closes, leaving Power to fight the zombies alone. Power fights the zombies, believing that Denji is behind her, and will tell the tale of how powerful she is. Denji reaches the 13th floor, and as the doors open, he sees Katana Man with two of his men. Katana Man wants to talk and explains that depending on Denji's attitude, they are willing to surrender. He explains that Denji killed his grandfather and his men's friends, and they want him to pay for that. Denji explains he did it, because they turned to zombies. Katana Man doesn't believe it, but states that even if it was true, they still were once humans and wonders if Denji feels guilty for killing them, however, Denji denies it. Katana Man then explains that a Akane had done some changes on him and replaced his heart with the Katana Devil, however, he couldn't sleep when he accidentally killed a zombie. He thinks that Denji lost his human heart, and if he has any semblance of a human conscience left, he should let them kill him. Denji thinks for a moment, but refuses the deal. Annoyed, Katana Man then states he will kill him, and the two transforms. Katana Man attacks Denji, and they fly off the building into the roof of the nearby building. They proceed fighting from a rooftop to a rooftop until Denji falls on the train. Katana Man jumps on it too and states that Denji had become faster and wonders why is he fighting for. Denji states it's to protect the life he has now. They keep on fighting and eventually fall inside the train, which stops due to the commotion they cause. Katana Man takes a stance that Denji recognizes but sees a wound next to him. He tries stopping the Katana Man, but Katana Man doesn't stop and cuts Denji's arm. He then takes the stance once more and cut Denji's other arm. Katana Man then states Denji can no longer fight and asks him before he dies to apologize for killing his grandfather. Denji stands up, stating he can still fight as he has a chainsaw on his head. He rushes at Katana Man, who takes again his stance and the two exchange blows. Katana Man then asks Denji if his grandfather didn't teach him when to quit. In that moment, Denji's head chainsaw breaks. He asked him once again to apologize for his grandfather. Denji states he aimed as expected for his head, but that was stupid. In that moment, Katana Man splits in two. Denji then asks Katana Man if his grandfather didn't teach him that a beast should never trust a hunter. As Katana Man falls defeated in two, Denji reveals he turned his right leg into a chainsaw. Katana Man soon awakens, finding himself tied up with a chainsaw chain to the train. Denji adds that Katana Man is the same as him, and when he pulled off his katana, he turned back to one piece. Denji states he needs to wait until the police come, but there is something he is upset about. He killed Himeno, and because of that, there is one less pretty girl in the world. However, he will live his life in prison without regret. Denji doesn't find that fair and Katana Man tells him he can't do anything about it as he is public safety's dog. Thinking a bit, Denji states he will be holding a tournament. Aki shows up, wondering what he means by tournament. Aki reports to the rest that Katana Man is under control and explains their location. Denji asks Aki if he wants to participate in his ultimate tournament. Denji explains that Katana Man shot Himeno, so they should give him met shots. They will be taking turns hitting his balls, and whoever gets the loudest scream out of him before the cops show up is the winner. Aki sighs, stating that their job is to capture him and not torture him to feel good, as that won't make Himeno happy. Aki takes out the cigarette he got from Ghost Devil and looks at it for a moment. He puts it back in his pocket and asks Denji what he gets if he wins. Denji states he will naturally get his balls. Katana Man can't believe it and asks them to stop as they approach him. The two then start kicking Katana Man, wondering if Himeno can hear their requiem for her. Makima reports that the terrorist attack was instigated by a former civilian devil hunter Akan Solitary. She made a contract with Gun Devil and distributed guns to the Yakuza. In returns, the Yakuza explained that Akane wanted the Chainsaw Devil's heart. Her superior wonders why she wanted his heart. Makima explains that before they could learn, the Snake Devil killed Akane. It was probably an involuntary suicide because of her contract with the Gun Devil. They also seize 1.4 kilograms of Gun Devil flesh from the building, and when they combine it with the 5 kilograms they have, the new large piece finally started to move towards the Gun Devil itself. Makima's superior then wonders to where. Sometime after that, after dinner, Aki goes on his balcony to smoke. He takes out his cigarette, which ends up being the one with the Easy Revenger writing. He looks at it for a moment and then lights it up and smokes it. Denji dreams of being younger and in a back alley. He sees a door and faces it. He notes he had been dreaming about this multiple times, but always forgets the dream after that. He hears Pakita's voice from behind the door and wants to open it so that he can touch him again. 
Paquita stops him, telling him to never open the door. A woman wonders if Denji prefers Country Mouse or City Mouse.